Welcome to QE Auto. This demo and video will be on how to do a serpentine belt on two different types of systems. The first, uh, first one being a serpentine belt system that has a tensioner, and the second one being a serpentine belt that has a manual tensioner on the side. Let's start with our serpentine belt. For a serpentine belt that has a tensioner, we need to use the serpentine belt tool. That is found in this yellow block with the proper sockets and adapter bar. But mainly for this engine right here on the stand, we just need a big long serpentine bar and a 19 mil socket that fits on the proper location of where the tensioner is. Now, let's talk about the tensioner a bit first. The tensioner is tensioned by an internal spring and it's put pressure on the pulley itself to put pressure on the belt in some way to keep the entire belt tensioned properly. Now, every tensioner is a little bit different, but there is one, there's only one way to loosen it off. In our case on this engine, we have a 19 mil molded bolt into a bracket, but other systems may have a square hole that fits either a 3 8 uh, ratchet extension or the half inch ratchet extension right here that goes into a square hole. In this case, like I mentioned, we have a 19 millimeter socket. Place that on the bar, place that on the 19 mil molded nut, and at this point, you can test which way the belt needs to go by you can seeing it loosen up. Before we remove the belt though, I want to bring your attention to the little diagram that I have drawn on the engine. Now not every engine has a diagram like this, but this shows the routing of the belts, uh, the belt through the different pulleys. To find this diagram, you will need to look underneath the hood, on the hood itself, or on the front ra uh, radiator support, and that should give you a sticker to show you the routing. If you do not have the routing there, we need to go on to repair manual, owner's manual, or all data to find out the proper routing technique. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the belt. Rotating up, loosening the belt, and you want to remove the belt without putting your fingers in any danger. So as soon as you have the belt removed, you can then take the belt fully off of the engine. Once the belt is off, we can do a quick inspection all the way around, check for stones, check for any wears and tears, and if anything needs to be replaced, now would be the time to do it. For our lab, we need to just put it back on after completing the worksheet. So now that I have the belt back on and ready to put the last pulley onto the belt, I need to put the socket back onto that 19 mil molded bolt, take the pressure off, slip it onto the pulley, I can then release the pulley, and at this point, I want to go through all the pulleys to make sure that the belt is seated in its rightful spot. When looking at the pulleys and when placing it back on, you need to notice that one side of the belt is flat, one side is grooved. If a pulley has a groove, that means it's only accepted on the groove side of the belt to the groove side of the pulley. If the pulley is flat, it can only be accepted on the flat side of the belt. So make sure that you know the difference and that may help you to reassemble this serpentine belt system. Now it's time to show you the manually adjusted serpentine belt. Now this is very similar meaning that it has a flat side and a groove side along with the different pulleys and this one's quite obvious that where the, um, where the belt goes so this one does not have anything drawn on it but there is a difference in that we're not just tensioning via a tensioner. We have to manually tension this belt so that it has the right deflection that we'll talk about at the end of the video but for right now Let's focus on the alternator right here that has our adjustment uh, bolts and nuts. To loosen the manual tensioner on this alternator, we need to loosen off a few bolts before we can actually loosen. So we're going to take our 12 mil wrench and we're going to loosen a bolt at the bottom of the alternator that you won't be able to see on the video. So I'm just going to loosen that mounting bolt off and then I'm going to loosen a bolt that attaches through to the alternator here. And by loosening that one, this is going to allow our actual tensioner screw, or tensioner bolt, 
to loosen the belt itself. Okay. With those two bolts loosened, now I can go to the big long bolt here, make sure that I'm in the loosening or tightening direction, whichever way I need to go for every, every different engine. And I'm going to loosen this bolt in this case, and you should be able to see on the video that the alternator is moving in, thus giving more ability to take the belt off on the front of the engine. So we're going to loosen this off. Sometimes you, you can uh, turn the extension by hand and this will help speed up the process. But you should see the belt getting looser as we untension this bolt. Bolt can also pop off and at this point we can push the alternator in and we now have access to the front of the engine. Now that the tensioner has been loosened and the alternator moves free, we can see that the belt is nice and loose. All you need to do at this point, be careful of your fingers, in a pinch point, you can remove the belt. Again, checking for any damage, any tears, any little rocks or stones that might be in there that are forced in there, Replacement, uh, replace it if needed. So now we are going to place it back on, Again, looking at the style of the pulleys, where they need to go. This one's nice and easy, making sure it's in the correct position. There we go. Retension the alternator, and now we will bring our attention back to the side for tensioning the belt. With the belt back in place, we're going to drop that tension bolt back in. We're going to tighten it by hand as much as we can. And then we are going to bring in our ratchet, reversing the orientation of the ratchet so that we're now tightening. And by tightening, that will then start to tighten that belt. What you are looking for is approximately one eighth to one quarter of an inch deflection. So about the thickness of a pencil. You're looking for that much movement going up and down when you're putting force on it. A bit more. So right there is approximately the deflection going up and down is about the thickness of a pencil, so about that much. Once you have that tight, we're going to grab our wrench and we are going to tighten the bolts to the alternator. And this will then lock in this bolt and any movement from happening. Go to the bottom bolt. and we will tighten that up as well. At this point, we now have a properly tensioned serpentine belt. Thanks for watching.